Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the lowest structure for PF3 molecule. It's a chemical formula for phosphorus trifluoride and to determine its lowest structure we are first going to look at the total number of valence electrons for this molecule. Here we have one phosphorus atom which has five valence electrons in its outer shell and we have three fluorine atoms. Each fluorine atom has seven valence electrons in its outer shell and as a result we have a total of 26 valence electrons for this molecule. Now I'm going to place phosphorus atom in the center and all the fluorine atoms will be placed around phosphorus atom like this. Once you have done this arrangement, place a pair of electron between each fluorine and phosphorus atom to show a bond. Doing that we will be using up 6 valence electrons out of 26. So now we are left with 20 more valence electrons and to start with it, I am going to place 6 valence electrons around each fluorine atom so that each fluorine atom has 8 valence electrons in its outer shell and thus has a complete octet. Doing that, I will be using up 18 more electrons and now I am just left with 2 more electrons which I am going to place on the phosphorus atom so that even this atom has complete octet. So now if you look at this Lewis structure, all the atoms over here have complete octets as they have 8 valence electrons in its outer shell. So this is the Lewis structure for phosphorus trifluoride in which phosphorus forms 3 single bonds with 3 fluorine atoms. I hope this video helps you to understand that and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.